Welcome to Countat. In this lesson, I'm quickly going to show you how to calculate markups and margins using the financial calculator, the BA2 plus Texas instrument. Now we have done this lesson before using formulas. We showed you how to do markups and margins. You'll find the link to that lesson in the description below. But how do we do it using the Texas instrument? Well, here's how you do it. Our calculator is on always. Let's just clear our calculator. Second function, I'm resetting it and then plus slash minus and then enter and then C is slash C to clear my screen. Okay. The first one tells us that the selling price for a shirt is 120 rand. The cost price is 100 rand. What is the margin percentage? That's the first question. And the second one is what is the markup percentage? Now with this specific calculator, there are two ways you will do it. For markup, you'll go, you'll do it one way and for margins, you'll do it another way. Here is how we do it. It's actually very simple for you to do this. So first one, let's calculate what the margin percentage is. If the selling price for a shirt is 120 Rand and the cost price is 100 Rand, what is the margin percentage? So here's how you do the margin. You press second function. Okay. After you press second function, you press here where it's written profit number three. Okay. So you press second function and then three, and then it will show you here and then it asks you what the cost price is. Well, we are told here that the cost price is 100 Rand. So I press 100 and then I press enter. Okay. And then I press the downward arrow and it's asking me what the selling price is. So I'm going to put the selling price. It's 120 Rand. So I just put 120 and then I press enter again. And then I press downward area and you can see here now it's asking me what the margin is but that's what i want i want to compute what the margin percentage is so i just press cpt the very first button on the top left of the calculator and you can see now it has given me what the margin is the margin is 16.67 percent okay and i hope you'll check out the other lesson if you haven't already on margins and markups using formulas because i explained thoroughly the difference between the two but what i say there is that the markup will always be higher than your margin percentage okay so here our margin percentage is 16.67 percent now let's calculate the markup now we're not going to do it on this one so we have to go back so let me just clear my work second function and clear okay and then i see slash c to clear my screen okay and then how do i do the markup well i press second function and then i don't press here number three okay this time i'm gonna press number five for you can see here the percentage change okay so i press second function number five if i want to do the markup okay and then it's going to show you here old and then if you press the downward arrow it's going to show you new and then if you press the downward arrow it's going to show you the percentage change okay and then this one here you can just leave it as it is so the old one is the cost price okay old is cost price so i'm going to put the cost price as 100 rand so i press 100 and then i press enter and then if i press the downward arrow again new is selling price that's always going to be the case so always remember that old is cost price new is selling price so the selling price for the shirt is 120 rand so i press 120 and then i press enter and then i press the downward arrow and then i press compute so when it comes to percentage change i just press cpt compute and there it has given me the percentage change is 20 percent okay and that is the markup and remember i said markup must be higher than the margin our margin that we calculated was 16.67 for the same one but now the markup is 20 percent okay i hope now you know how to do that let's look at the second example quickly okay so let me reset my calculator okay so the second one tells us that the selling price for a shirt is 50 rand what we are asked here is that if it has a markup of 25 percent what is the cost price so remember in the first one we calculated what the margin is and what the markup is we're given the selling price and the cost price but here we're given the selling price and the markups and the margins but we're asked what the cost price is okay so the first one is if there has a markup of 25 percent what is the cost price okay so we are doing markups first so we press second function and then we press number five the percentage change okay because it's a markup so we are told here that the selling price is 50 rand. We are asked what the cost price is. And remember I said old is cost price, which we don't have. We were trying to figure it out. So we press the downward arrow and the new is the selling price. So we have the selling price. So it's 50 rand. And then we press enter. And then we press the downward arrow. What is the percentage change? The percentage change is 25%. That is the markup. Okay. The percentage change is the markup. So I put 25 and then I press enter. Okay. And then I press the downward arrow. You can press downward and O upward. And then you skip this one. You press downward again until you get to old. Old is the cost price. That's what we are trying to compute. So I just press CPT and there it has given me what the cost price is. The cost price is 40 Rand. 
and that's the question that i was asked okay now the second one is if there's a margin of 25 percent what is the cost price now we go to margins okay so let me clear my work okay and then i go to second function now this time if i'm doing margins i press number three for profit okay that's what i want the cost price so i press the downward arrow i have the selling price which is 50 rand so i press 50 and then i press enter and then i go i press the downward arrow again the margin is 25 percent so i just press 25 and then i press enter and then i press the downward arrow again what do i want i want the cost price so i just press cpt for compute and there it has given me if the margin is 25 percent and the selling price is 50 rand the cost price is 37.5 Okay, I hope it has made sense. I hope you now know how to do margins and markups using the financial calculator, the BA2 plus Texas instrument. Till next time. Cheers.